Hello, friends. Welcome back. This is episode three, the final episode of our time vote plug-in. Let's get into it. Okay. Intelligence. So in the last video, we went ahead and we set up our entire utilities class here. And now in this video, we're gonna go ahead and set up our command and we're gonna go ahead and set up our events class. So let's do that. So let's jump into our events class. This is going to be fairly easy. It's just basically one event, right? So we're gonna go ahead and say event handler, public void, sleep vote. And then we're gonna go ahead and say player, bed, enter event, event. We're gonna go ahead and get the player. So player, player equals event, I get player. I know I said that fast, but this is something very easy. And then we're gonna go ahead and say if, and now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and get the world of the player. So we're gonna say player.getWorld. Let's add a space here. And we're gonna go ahead and say world.getWorld. Right. So one of the first things that we wanna do, when you sleep in a bed, you can also cancel rainstorm or thunderstorms. So this is an optional thing for you, uh, but this is just something that I'm going to do. Basically, I'm gonna allow it to basically keep resetting storm. So if somebody sleeps in the bed, the storm goes away. And when I'm doing this, uh, I'm just setting a message so everyone knows who cleared the storm. So if world dot has storm, let's just go ahead and say is world dot set storm false. And then we'll go ahead and just copy this over. And then we're gonna return. Now you're probably wondering, why are we returning? Well, we're returning because somebody might sleep in a bed to cancel a storm, but not necessarily want to activate a time vote. So that's why we're doing this right up front. Okay, moving on. So let's just go ahead and say is if plugin that is vote active, and we'll change this to is not active. We're gonna go ahead and say if world we're gonna go ahead and check the environment again. So if the environment is not equal to world environment, I don't know why the default's another. So if it is not a normal world, let's just go ahead and send a message to the player saying that this can only be done in the overworld. And now I could just create a method in the util that does a check, which probably would be the smartest thing. So let's just do that. We'll just throw it right here and we'll say public void is overworld. So, is that? I like it like this. Is overworld. And this is gonna take in a world and a world. We'll take a, we'll take in a player. And then we'll just get the player's world. And then we'll say world world equals player dot get world. And we can get rid of this return. Or actually we'll make this a Boolean. So we'll say return false. Else Return true. Probably don't even need the else there. Uh, we can just we can just do that. <laughs> so if it is not the overworld, we're gonna return false, and if it is the overworld, we're gonna return true. So we're gonna go ahead and say is overworld, and now we can get rid of this here. It will say is overworld, and this is gonna be player. And now we can go here in our vote event. We can get rid of this. We can go ahead and say plugin. Oops, not player. Plugin uh, vote util is overworld player. Oh, wait, no, we want to do uh, uh, I messed it up a little bit. We want to do where did I just put that? If not overworld return, there we go. And then here we want to do the same thing. If not overworld return. And we'll say plugin vote util that is overworld. So if it is not an overworld, we want to return. If it is, we're going to continue. And then after that, we want to just go ahead and say plugin dot vote util. Oh, I keep doing player. Plugin dot vote util dot start vote. And I'm not sure why that's a capital. You guys were probably screaming at me in the previous videos. Okay, so we want to go ahead and start the vote, which is just going to take the player. 
and we'll start the vote. And if a vote is active, so we'll go ahead and say else, we wanna say if not, so if the plugin, so if the yes vote set does not contain the player, we want to go ahead and say plugin dot get yes vote dot add, and this is going to be player dot get unique ID, and then we're going to go ahead and send the player message, send message, and I'll just copy this because I want to, and. What we're going to do, because now we can vote for day or night, this message doesn't quite apply, is because you chose to sleep, you are voting, you are starting a time vote. And that doesn't need to be capital T. Because now you can click your bet at any point in the day and you can start a time vote. Okay, let's move on to our command. So we're almost there and then we'll get testing this out to make sure it all works. So in our command here, we wanna go ahead and make sure that the command is an instance of a player. So command sender instance of player because we don't want the console to do it. And if it is, let's go ahead and say player, player equals, uh, oh, not event, sorry. We're gonna go ahead and cast player and this is gonna be command sender. And then we wanna get the world of the player. And this is gonna be player.getWorld. Great. And we want to go ahead and run that check again. So if not plugin vote util that is overworld and player. We want to return. Oh, sorry. We want to return true. I was like, why is that not why is that return not working? Okay. And so now the next thing we want to do is we want to say is if args. Oh, and we didn't change this. So we want to change our strings here to args. You can keep it strings. I like args because I feel like it makes way more sense. So if args.length equals one, we want to go ahead and say if plugin that is vote active, we want basically we want to check to see if the vote is active because if not, then doing slash TV yes and TV no will be pointless. And then we want to go ahead and say is if plugin dot get yes vote dot contains player dot get unique ID or Plugin that get no vote that contains player that get unique ID. Then we want to go ahead and send them a message saying that they've already voted because we don't want people to vote more than once, right? So we're gonna go ahead and copy this, paste my message, basically saying you have already earned, you have already voted, and we're checking both. So if it's in the yes vote or if it's contained in the no vote, they've already voted, and we're gonna return true. Great. So now the next thing we want to do is we want to check their first argument. If it's a yes, then we want to cast them to the yes vote. If it's a no, we want to cast them to the no vote. So let's just go ahead and say args zero. And obviously arguments or arrays, lists, everything starts at zero in Java and pretty much every other language. So we'll just go ahead and finish that. So if args that equals ignore case, and if it equals a yes, then let's just go ahead and send the player a message, which I'm gonna copy again. I'm gonna copy two things. So we want, and again, this is totally preference. You don't have to send them a message and you don't have to send the server a message. But basically what I'm doing is I'm sending the player a message saying that they have voted yes. And I'm also broadcasting it to the whole server that so-and-so has voted yes, because I think it's important to know who is trying to mess with you. So if I want, if I say, hey guys, let's make it nighttime so I can get mobs. And you say, hmm, Sure, but then you still vote? No? I wanna know. And then we'll just go ahead and add them to the no vote. Or sorry, add them to the yes vote. And we'll go ahead and say add player that get unique ID. There we go. And now we're just gonna go ahead and copy and paste this because it's pretty much identical, except for the only thing we're changing is no. Um in the message a little bit. Um so I'm just gonna copy and paste this because again, it is pretty much the same thing, just in reverse. Why is that copy not going? So we're gonna send the player a message saying you have voted no. We're gonna broadcast saying that they have voted no. And we're gonna add them to the no vote. And then we'll do one final else, which is basically just saying that the player is using the command wrong. And then we'll send them the player saying invalid use. There we go. 
And then we want to have one more else here, which is just basically saying there's no active vote. So we're checking here that is saying is plugin is vote activated. If it is, we're going to run this else. We are just going to send them a message saying there is no active vote. And then here we're going to do one more else, which is just basically going to be the start. So if the args does not equal zero or does not equal one, we're basically going to go ahead and say else if args.length equals zero. And we want to say if not active. So if plugin that vote is not active, we want to go ahead and start the vote. So plugin that vote util dot start vote player. And there we go. So I believe that this bad boy is ready to go. So our pom.xml, our version, well, just, yeah, I guess we can keep snapshot, it doesn't really matter. All right, so let's just refresh our imports to make sure everything's there. Let's go ahead and do install. Okay, we have a build success. So let's go into our development folder here. Okay, so if we do slash PL, our time vote is working there. Let's join our local host. And let's just go ahead and do slash TV. So we can see here, I started a time vote. You have 15 seconds to vote. You may click yes or no, type slash time vote or sleep in a bed. And let me just get a bed here, game vote creative. And we can see our time vote over at the top is going. And we have made it tonight. So let me just go ahead and take off my texture pack here so you guys can see that our boss bar is in fact blue, which we set it to blue. So let's just go ahead and get a bed. Let me just clear my inventory quick. And let's just get a bed. Okay, so now if we click our bed, it's too soon to start another time vote because, well, we set the time vote to, I don't remember actually what we set it to. Uh, we set it to 10 minutes. So to easily get around that, we're just gonna go ahead and do a reload confirm. So we know our vote delay at least works. In this sense, obviously I can't wait around for 10 minutes to make sure I can set it to one minute, um, but I know that this works. So let's go ahead and do here. So we can see there that I started a time vote because I slept in a bed. And now if we try to re-click my bed, you can see there that it's just saying spawn point set. Uh, we don't need to actually send the message. Okay, so that works. So now let's just do one more test here. So the server time has been voted today. So we reloaded. So let's just do slash TV. And now we'll do slash TV yes. And you can see here that I've already voted. And if I try to do TV no, I've already voted. And now it's going to go to nighttime. Soon. And it's nighttime. Okay, so now let's get some. Oh, do I not have the nether enabled? I might not have the nether enabled. Anyways, we, we know that you guys can check it yourselves. I don't feel like turning this off and going all the way back. Uh, just because I know that it will more than likely work. Because I've already tested all of this. So... So there you guys have it. There is a time vote plugins for your server. And if you guys enjoyed the video, once again, be sure to leave a comment, drop a like. And this code will be on GitHub. Um, it won't be on GitHub for the first two videos, but it will be on GitHub for the last one, this one. I'm not sure how I'm gonna upload these videos. I might just upload all three of them at once so, so you have the entire collection. Um, but I might also wait um, one day in between I haven't totally figured that out, but once again, thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys in whatever the next video is. So, peace!